what's going on guys welcome back to the channel we are in the final two episodes of season four of sons of anarchy i am curious to see what is going to take place in these next two episodes the question is did clay survive the on the the the, the attack from ope himself i know Jax was not going to shoot ope in that situation you know what I'm saying? Um, Jax doesn't know the whole story. So that's, it's a problem. Him, now, Ope don't care about the club. Because, you know, he's on a path. He's on a revenge path. He doesn't know, he don't know the full story either. You know what I'm saying? So it's more of like he can't really tell him anything. You know what I'm saying? You know, Clay is trying to come out of it by telling him, hey, they are lying to you. And all this other stuff. When he damn well know he the one that actually killed Piney. It, it's just. It, it just irritates me so much. The way how he. he if they keep. If Clay survives this season bro. I don't know how they gonna let me like. There's nothing that he can do right now. To let me feel like he's a good guy again. There's nothing. He's gonna be the scorn of the show for me. If he survived this this season, you know, going into another season, dealing with him again, you know what I'm saying? When we know that Opie just, you know, went after him, there's no way. There's no way. So, you know, Tig is not his right-hand man anymore. That seriously came out of surprise to me, to be honest, that he gave him this, like, yo, I'm just not that dude for you anymore, man, because you you locking us out of everything. You know what I'm saying? You're not even giving us a time of day or anything of the sort. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're just, like, over there by yourself doing your own thing. I feel like we're not a motor club anymore. We're not friends. So, Tig gave him that, that patch and was like, I can't be your sergeant at arms anymore. It's just, it is what it is. You know, but I'm looking forward to seeing what they're going to do to close out this season. So, let's go watch the episodes, man. And I will have a detailed review of the season after these two episodes. See you guys over there. All right. Let me relax and do this because my my head is about to explode. Uh, let's see here. All right, so you guys have probably watched that and just as surprised as I am, you know. In these in this circumstance, the way how I look at season 4, it's a culmination and it ended perfectly. And one of the things that I like about this series is that it sets a great tone in the first episode of every season. And it wraps up all the storylines at the end of the season. There's nothing to, you know what I'm saying? Everything that happened throughout the season, you get a, a feel of, okay, satisfaction, what's next? You get what I'm saying? So, um, everything was bubbling towards the end of the season. And we got to see what that is all about. I don't know where this crease is coming from but i need to find it it's a crease in my green screen oh it's on this side i don't know what's what's i don't know what's happening anyways yes forget <laughs> forget that okay so that is what it is okay and i really do appreciate them for doing that because you know for a show that is not very fast paced you know what I'm saying? Um, and, and as I've said before, when it comes on to, to pacing, because a lot of people, they confuse pacing in, in, in movies and TV show. They confuse pacing with speed. You get what I'm saying? And it's not really about speed. Pacing is not necessarily about speed. It's more, it's more than that. It's about speed. And also a very crucial element is how you keep your audience engaged. Because 
you can lose your audience in the middle of a season, in the middle of an episode, you can completely lose your audience and they, you know, they lose interest. So pacing has to do a lot with that too. So it's definitely was an engaging season regardless of the slow. You get what I'm saying? Regardless of the speed still kept me engaged. So it goes without saying it was a brilliant season. It was done near perfect in my opinion near perfect um there was uh, there was some parts that you know i believe that you know you it's <laughs> you know the whole build up with the rico case i think that was kind of a letdown for me um it was surprising it caught me off guard no doubt when it got shut down by them dudes, but it's just that something just did not sit right with me with the whole, um, them not being able to get that information because, you know, so it, it just kind of didn't sit well with me. And that's why I was kind of correcting myself every time saying, Oh, I, you know, maybe, you know, their man inside, you know, isn't, you know, he, he is, you know, the information is above his pay grade. But then I was like, I was also thinking to myself, like, it's an a, a, um, a AUSA. You get what I'm saying? As a United States att attorney. So it shouldn't be so private that some that somebody that they have there, unless it's like a little peon, you know what I'm saying? That can't find out that information. The entire Justice Department if they're going to execute that many amount of warrants, trust me, somebody's going to know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like something as big as Rico is not going to be in such secret where some parts of the department, the justice department doesn't know about it. Like that's absolutely ridiculous. That's all I was, I was thinking about it. And then I was like, doesn't make sense. But then I was like, you know, for the show purposes, it, it makes sense. But then again, I was like, when they were sitting in the car, I was like, I guess they really didn't find it. But it just seemed kind of sketchy. The way how the scene was filmed, it just didn't sit right with me. You know what I mean? So that element of it, I kind of like, I like the surprise. But for the entire season, they've been building up this Rico case. And it, it kind of pushed the season in that direction where it was like, oh, shit, this, there's going to be a shootout. Maybe somebody major is going to die. And we didn't get none of that. So the entire season was, a, it was about family, in my opinion. And, you know, the struggles, even though they're criminals, they still have these issues that they have to deal with. Uh, you know, and my thing is, in this season, definitely Jax is the MVP of this season. And I'm going to tell you guys why he was the MVP of this season. And with Tara coming in in a very close second. The reason why I like the fact is, is not necessarily because he had the best, you know, acting or anything like that. It's just a story that surrounded him. Him not knowing anything until basically the, you know, the second to last episode, you know, was very well done. The story pushed Jack's character you know what I'm saying? To the point where we thought we would never see him find out that, you know, Clay had a hand in killing his dad, which I don't excuse Clay for. Clay was the worst, you know what I'm saying? Story-wise, was the worst. He was the character to hate this season. He was that character. He did everything that you don't want to see any man doing. You get what I'm saying? And a man of his stature, you know, winding, going down so many bad roads so many things for you to disagree with with um with his character him you know making a deal with the cartel to make a bunch of money so he could leave the club and give jacks the club then just jack said no i'm not taking the club i want to get the hell out of this town with my with my with my soon-to-be wife and sons that's what i want so um when it comes to jacks his character was pushed to the brink without even knowing exactly what's going on and he played it excellently the actor that plays Jax played it excellently so i give him top props for this season i think in season three i gave op the mvp this season it was definitely Jax. Jax definitely they 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 pushed him to the forefront 
and it culminated at the end with him being president of the club and they did an excellent job of doing that the path that he had to go to do it and now they they haven't killed off clay's character um they didn't kill him um so we're gonna see what that dynamic is going to be like as soon as he uh, as when he gets back when he recovers and they can push through this deal you know with the cia working with this cartel it, they chose a side because it is a war so they need these weapons they need this to happen and they decided to shut down the rico case so for me the reason why i have tara at a close second the reason why i have her as a close second you know what I'm saying? Runner-up MVP of the season is because is because of the actress that played her character this season. They pushed her to the brink also this season with her undying love for Jax. She had to deal with a lot from her getting those letters from last season. It just, you know, everything has piled out of control from what she had to deal with. She almost got killed. Um... The, some she had some of the best scenes in this season with Jax and without Jax. It just some of those scenes that she did. She 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 just did an excellent job. Um, her character was pushed. You know what I'm saying towards the forefront of the series, kind of pushing Gemma a little bit behind the curtains. You know what I'm saying. Um, so I have to give them props in doing that. A very good job of of still having. Gemma as a extremely relevant character while pushing Tara up into that upper echelon of characters in the show so I really have to give them props for that so they did an excellent job with that of course so I'm definitely looking forward to um season to seeing season five um I'm ready to go um whenever of course I'm gonna t I'm gonna take a week's break from Sons of Anarchy and then um, we'll dive into season five. I have two new shows that I need to premiere on the channel. They will be on early access first, of course. Um, but you guys will know. You already know because uh, I think I announced it on my live stream the other day um, where I told you guys that I am going to be doing um, Westworld and Black Sails. I will be doing those two shows will be premiering. Um, very soon. I have not watched the first episodes of these yet, but they will definitely be up and will be running on the channel. Okay, so um, so my final verdict for the season is definitely I'm gonna give it a 9.5 out of 10 season. Um, there are things that they could have done better. Don't get me wrong; it wasn't a perfect season by any means. But I think the actors pulled off the the the, sto the story that was written for them to um to portray through these characters i think they did a very good job i think there as i said there's certain aspects that i think were unnecessary that we could have done without like the whole Leroy storyline like i think i think the niners storyline just doesn't add up i think they're like it, it just they're like they're kind of like um extras on the show they feel like extras like they just throw them in there anytime they want beef you know what i'm saying but i think they kind of set something up for season five with this gangster this this notorious gangster biggest gangster in oakland so i think that's going to play a part coming next season so they set that up and i see it but i think i mean i don't know what it is but it's but it's like didn't the the, the the um the niners are not convincing as gangsters they're just not i'm just saying like i'm not saying that they they're not tough that's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying that they're not tough and they're not, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're not from the hood or, you know what I'm saying? They're not a gang gang. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that they just come off as, is like, they they just always kind of like seem like they're in over their heads when it comes on to what they're doing. You get what I'm saying? So they're always like in the background and, you know, to the point of un, they're, they're unnecessary to the plot. You know what I mean? So, I think the I I think they're gonna be they're gonna play a a bit of a bigger major part in season five because of what they did at the end there with you know this Pope dude died and I I I I'm not sure but I think the um I think it's that biker dude the black biker dude um 
from the, the, the motorcycle. I think that's who they're talking about. I think his name is Pope. I don't remember if his name was Pope or not when he introduced himself, but that's who I'm thinking of that they could be talking about dude from Oakland. You know what I mean? So we'll, we'll see how it goes. Anyways, guys, that is all I have to say about season four. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my review of the entire season and what I thought of the characters. I think there's certain things that happened. I don't want to talk too much about clay. Um, the, they just did an incredible job, guys, of a season four, and we're looking forward to season five. If there's anything you guys have to say, leave it in the comment section. Let me know what you thought of season four the first time you watched it, of course. I appreciate you guys. As always, make sure to leave a like on the video, leave a comment, and it's your boy, Terabyte Reacts, and we out. Peace.